Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel ML for Analytics. I am Jyoti Dikshit and I will be uh, teaching you how to do clustering in Power BI using the scatter plot visual of Power BI. So let's get started. So by the end of this video, you will be able to come out uh, with this type of visualization. So uh, I will expand these three panes and then I will be letting you know how I have done this. So what I'll be doing is I will actually let you know a few things first. Uh, the thing is, let's remove this for the time being so that you will be able to relate with this. We will be using the mall customers data set that I have taken from Kaggle. I'll put the link of this data set in the description box below. So what I'll be doing is, uh, firstly, uh, let's just delete all these clusters which I had made so that you will be able to uh, know this uh, as I will carry this out from scratch. Just delete everything. Okay, cool. Now we are having the raw data set and what I will do is I will put age in x-axis and let's select annual income on y-axis. Now, again, uh, in, in our last video, we had uh, learned that by default, Power BI selects this sum uh, aggregation on any uh, column that we drop over here so we will remove this now we have this scatter plot with us now what I want is first of all whenever you are going to make a cluster you are going to do this clustering case study in Power BI you have to put something a column some uh, a level basically on which you want uh, a categorical variable basically that can be used in order to make the clusters. So what I'll do is I'll actually choose this customer ID and put this in detail section and now you are going to see this error. So it's saying remove details to display x and y axis pairs. Alternatively you can keep details and set a summarization for x and y axis. So if you want to actually use details in scatter plot, then what are you going to need? You are going to need something in X and Y, but that something in X and Y, they have to be uh, summarized. So what I'll do is I'll select average for, for my case study and you are not going to see any difference over here. Why? Because customer ID is a unique field. It is unique to each row of the data set. So the data set is such that uh, it's having uh, age, gender, annual in income, and the spending score uh, that has been uh, uh, allotted to that particular customer by more. And the customer is also going to have customer ID, which is unique to each customer. So one row representing one customer. So that is why the data set has come out to the same. And if you are applying any type of summarization on just one row, then you are going to get that same data. So it's like sum of one is just one. So that's what uh, applied over here. And same thing goes for average. So average of one is going to be equal to one only. So now what I'm going to still do is I am going to uh, encode the sizes of these data points according to the value of spending score. So I'll put this over here and you can see the visualization over here. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to do clustering. So how to do that? So for, the, for, for that you have to go over here these three dots and you'll have to click on them and then you are going to see this option. Uh, so it's like it's the fourth option automatically find clusters. So I'm going to click on this and it is asking me the name that I have to give to this cluster column and I'll I'll just use this only. I am not going to change it. 
In this number of clusters, you can specify the number of clusters that you want uh, for, for your data set. I will leave this to auto. Let's see how, what amount, uh, what number of clusters it has for us. So click on OK. OK, so by default, automatically it has selected two clusters for me. Now you can see that the color of both of them are different, which is, which is obvious. But why uh, has this happened? So basically, customer ID clusters, the column that was created when we selected automatically apply cluster, that has been dropped to legend field over here. So that is why uh, I'm seeing over here customer ID clusters and cluster one is actually in this blue color and cluster two is in yellow shade. So this is how we can obtain clusters. Uh, and if you want to change the number of clusters, you can go ahead and change it and uh, enter any value of your choice in, in the number of clusters field. Um, so then you are going to get that amount of clusters for your visualization. So guys, uh, I conclude this video over here. In the next video, we are going to uh, learn how to do regression in Power BI using scatter plot only. So if you, if you uh, like this video and if you thought that uh, this was a good video, informative video, so I request you to like this video, uh, comment, subscribe to our channel if you, if you find our videos interesting and share our videos and stay tuned. Thank you.